Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a default browser and how you can do it in the computer settings and the browser settings as well. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. As practice shows, most users have several browsers installed. They can be installed on purpose because you want this particular browser or as a bundle together with a certain program or application. To save the trouble of deciding which browser to use for opening a certain link or web page, you can set the priority for the browser you are more comfortable with and select it as your default browser. In today's video, you'll see how it's done. We'll have a look at the most popular browsers, one of which might be your favorite app of choice. Most present-day browsers suggest you should set them as browser by default as soon as you start them for the first time. And there is also an option in their settings. If you start a browser and it doesn't ask you to make it a default one, you'll have to go to its settings to do it manually. In Google Chrome, click on Customize and Control Google Chrome button in the upper right corner of the screen. It's fashioned like three vertical dots. And select Settings in the menu that appears. Go down a bit to find the line Default Browser and click on Make Google Chrome My Default Browser to have every web page open with Chrome. In Firefox, click on the menu button, three horizontal lines in the upper right corner of the screen and select Options. In the General section, find Startup to see if it's your default browser. If it isn't, click on Make Default. In Opera, Click on Customize and Control Opera, the red letter O. In the menu that appears, select Settings or press the key combination Alt plus P. In the Basic section, find default browser line to see if it's your default browser. If it isn't, click on Make Opera My Default Browser. And that's all. Now this browser is the one you'll always use. In Yandex Browser, open Settings by clicking in the upper right corner and then go into the Settings window. Scroll down to Default Browser to see if this browser is your default one. If it's not, click on Set Yandex Browser as your default browser. That's all, you are finished with the settings. If you are using Windows 10 operating system, Microsoft Edge is the default browser. It's configured so that when the browser starts, it checks automatically if it's the, the default app for web pages and other things. When you start it for the first time, you can see a notification at the bottom of the page suggesting you to set Microsoft Edge as your default browser by just clicking the button Change My Default. If there is no such message for some reason, click on the More button in the upper right corner of the window or press the key shortcut Alt plus X. Then choose Settings. At the top of the menu, there is a button Change my default. However, as you may have already noticed, in Windows 10 such methods of setting up a default browser don't always work with every browser or sometimes they don't work properly. It can be impossible to set this priority to a browser from the browser settings, and you may also have to confirm your actions in the operating system settings. When choosing the default browser option in the settings of any browser, the system automatically opens settings for default apps. If you want to change your default browser in the operating system settings, go to Settings – Apps. Select Default Apps. Find the line Web Browser. It shows you which program is used as the default browser, and in my case it is Microsoft Edge. Click on it to see the list of all browsers you have installed. Here you can choose the one you need or find a corresponding application in Microsoft Store. 
If you select another browser instead of Edge, the symbol will change. And now this other browser will be set as the default one. Now this browser will be used if you click on a link to open it. If it doesn't happen, go back to the default apps window again, scroll down and click on Choose default apps by protocol. For every protocol, there is a dedicated app here. Find the browser set as default by the operating system and replace it by the one you need by clicking here and choosing it from the list. You can always reset your options to those recommended by Microsoft by just clicking on the Reset button here. For earlier versions of the Windows operating system, you can find these settings by opening the Control Panel. Open Control Panel, find the section Default Programs, then go to Set your default programs, and as a result, you'll see a list of such programs. Find and select the browser you want to make your default. On the right, there is a description of the selected application. Click on Set this program as default to set the priority. If all you wanted was to set a default browser, the job is done. But if you need a more detailed report on what kinds of files and protocols this program will open by default, select Choose defaults for this program. This window will show you the list of extensions that can be associated with this browser. If you choose Set this program as default, the Windows operating system will associate all the listed extensions with this browser. Check the boxes next to all extensions and protocols you'd like to open with this browser. Otherwise, check the box next to Select all. In the end, click on Save to make all changes take effect. And that's all for today. In this video, I tried to tell you about the most popular web browsers and how to set any of them as the default one. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Leave comments to ask questions, thank you for watching, and good luck!